हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ वृशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट नेटवर्क लेयर प्रोटोकॉल्स विथ एग्जाम्पल आई हैव मैंशन अ कम्प्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडेज सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज स्टैटिक वर्सेज डायनामिक राउटिंग लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन यू शुड लर्न अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ राउटिंग एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैट and at the end we will discuss the question bank now the first point is what exactly routing as we discussed earlier in computer network multiple devices are present and all the devices are connected with each other these devices share information with each other right now in network layers there is a routing algorithms routing algorithms find out the efficient path to travel information from source to destination accurately this routing algorithm they find out the path on the basis of distance traffic and available bandwidth to find out the efficient path they optimize the network performance there are total four types of routing algorithms like static routing dynamic routing distance vector routing and link state routing in this session we discuss static and dynamic routing let discuss it one by one now first we understand the concept of static routing according the example consider that in this first step there are total five routers are present in network router is one kind of devices that is used to connect the different types of lan or local area networks now suppose this r1 router want to send information to the r3 by using static routing so static routing are manually perform there is a one person which is called as network administrator network administrator manually decide the path that is r1 to r2 and r2 to r3 so this path is manually decided and stored into the routing table so a particular router send information according to this path but sometimes what happen due to some network error this r2 gate fail so at that time what happen r1 can't send information to the r3 because in this particular path r2 get fail so at that time network administrator manually generate the new path they manually identify the new path that is r1 to r4 r4 to r5 and r5 to r3 so this is a path between r1 to r3 so in static routing to find out a particular path that have done manually by network administrator that's why there 24 by 7 support is required and it is a very time consuming process right so this is called as static routing network administrator decide the manually path and store this path into the routing table on the opposite of that there is a dynamic routing now what exactly dynamic routing see same example is there in particular network there are total five routers are present R1 want to send information to the R3. Now in dynamic routing, there are different routing protocols are used. These routing protocols decide a particular path. Suppose the path is R1 to R2 and R2 to R3. By this path, they send the information. And due to some network error, R2 get fail. So at that time, what happen? The routing protocols or this router automatically decide the alternate new path, alternate best path. to reach to r3 right so this is not a time consuming process static routing depends on network administrator here there are some advanced protocols are used there are some learn protocols are there right so they find out the alternate path quickly that is r1 to r4 r4 to r5 and r5 to r3 in this particular sequence and then they send the information so this is a concept of dynamic routing now let's see in discuss the difference between static and dynamic routing so as we discussed earlier in path selection network administrator manually configured the particular path particular route but in dynamic routing routers are automatically learn and adjust the routers by using routing protocols in static routing a particular route not as automatically update but in dynamic routing path is automatically update static routing is used for simple and small networks dynamic routings are used for large and dynamic network that's why 
static routing is not scalable and dynamic routing is highly scalable for large network in static routing no additional traffic is generated because there is a pre decided and confirmed path but in dynamic routing there are multiple paths are there they generates the overhead due to root discovery and updates are there now the next difference is static routing is more secure right because network and administrator manually configured the path but in dynamic routing which is less secure where because there are different protocols they identify a particular path as per their distance or as per the traffic static routing is low resources consumption they required a low memory low processing but dynamic routing required a higher resource consumptions the real scenario is static routing generally used in some small office network for example in particular local area network where a particular network topology is rarely change suppose they use a star topology in particular office so this topology can't change suppose it is a permanent thing so at that time static routing is used but some large corporate network the network topologies are accordingly frequently change due to some expansion purpose right so at that time dynamic routing is used another example see suppose in static routing there are two routers in network okay this is the same example as we discussed earlier router a the address is this and router b ip address is this now router a want to send information to router b so there is a network administrator they manually check the path between router a to router b by using this command that is ip root address so this command is used to find out a particular path and check the particular traffic is there or not on the another side there is a dynamic routing so they send information with each other by using routing protocols this routing protocols like rip igrp ospf this routing protocols are automatically discovered the best path in particular network so this is a basic difference between static and dynamic routing now as per your previous year question paper this difference is important at least you have to mention minimum 6 points so for 6 marks so you have to prepare this difference with example so this is all about thank you keep learning